Copenhagen is undeniably beautiful and uh, you can't take that away from them. You know, uh, this city is built with a lot of love and a lot of, uh, you know, energy put in building the city. And they're still building, still expanding and, you know, beautifying it. Uh, but one thing that always, you know, make me so attracted to this city is the water. How the water is, ever, you know, is distributed throughout the city and uh, just not only for transport but just for beauty, you know, you can see the fish, you can see other animals in the water. It's so beautiful. And the history of this water, the, the main channels that came in this city was uh, done by the king called Louis XIV. And uh, when you're in Copenhagen, you hear about this, this name uh, often. He has built so many things, the monuments, uh, the, the water channels, you know. He was a big, big visionary who saw the things in uh, hundreds of years ago. Who saw the city, you know, all littered with water. And uh, today I can testify the beauty is just undeniable. And let's uh, take a dive around and we're still going around seeing how, you know, Co Co Copenhagen is just uh, taken out by water and the beautiful water makes it really, really Copenhagen. So come with us as we continue touring the place. Thank you. You know, as I walk this street, uh, coming from where I come from, I can't forget that, uh, you know, we are desiring to, you know, to move ahead like this, you know, building our cities uh, bigger, better, or even beautiful. But, uh, you know, uh, when I was coming to this side of the world, I thought that this city was built in the past. I thought that everything that is here was in the past. Uh, but for the few years I've lived here, I've seen this city rise up. You know, and I've talked to people and people have told me, you know, this city in the, in the past 10 years didn't look like this. Half of it just built up from the, from the past few years. And it's true. For my being here, most of these buildings that I see on the street were constructed when I was here. Were constructed and being constructed when I'm here. So I see, you know, the dedication of people to build uh, their own city is always continuous. It never stops. So the excitement is seeing the city build, uh, uh, you know, grows right in front of your eyes. And I think that many uh, streets of the world that still want to build their own cities, that want to modernize their own cities, just know that this is possible because it's not done in the past. It's done in the present, uh, you know, by people deciding what they want and putting them at, in the right places. You know, so let's keep touring and uh, if I find something new, I will always be including in the video and telling you that this is built when I was here. And I love to walk in the city and that's why I'm bringing you along with me. Let's keep enjoying as you go. Uh, as I said, you know, uh, this building, this hotel is built when I was here. Tivoli Hotel is one of the most popular hotels here. But I think that uh, uh, some part was there, but... Mm, most of it is, is built when I'm here and this is a very very popular hotel in town a very big one and uh, you know it has a lot of uh, uh, history when it comes to amusement you know when you're going to amusement park like uh, people go to US you know what is it called but that is what uh, Tilly does here so this is a new one too that came up when I was here so uh, today we're just uh, basically vlogging around the city uh, nothing much uh, find some people to speak to and we speak to them um, you know find something to see and share and share it's not a, I'm not programmed for a, an interview or something like that of the kind today so today just let's uh, see the city and on one side it's not the whole city it's just about the water about the life of the people and uh, hope that uh, uh, we keep catching up uh, interesting portions of this city uh, for those who are visiting or those who are moving in here uh, you can have a perception because uh, this is Scandinavia uh, the, you have uh, Denmark, Netherlands, uh, Norway, Sweden, uh, Finland so sometimes a video like this can also help you make up your mind but I think that is a very beautiful country and, uh, you can uh, you know, 
visit too and uh, see for yourself uh, if it's a, a place that you, you know, love to, to live in with your family or yourself or you know, take up a career, something of the kind. So let's keep going. So the wall of this water you see, um, this water divides uh, the part of Copenhagen uh, that's called the Ama and the other side of Copenhagen. On the other side, you know, there are people who live that side. That's where the airport is. That's where the real, real Copenhagen, you know, is. But, um, you know, it's a debate. Yeah? People on the other side of the, the, the city they don't even come this side. Others even grew all that side. They never came this side. That's what I'm told. They are so proud of that city that uh, they don't want to come this side. But this is uh, part of the sea that was dug through, you know, to divide the city into two. And this was done by one king that really interests me when I'm in, uh, you know, learning about Denmark and it, uh, our history. Uh, this was called King Louis XIV. He, he was a very visionary king who saw the future of this city, who saw the future of Copenhagen, and uh, he wanted to be like water related, you know, he wanted water everywhere. So he dug channels, a tunnel all over Copenhagen. And now people enjoy, you know, when it becomes warm like this, everybody flocks in here, you know, people will be swimming, will be, you know, boat rides and, and, and so, so forth. So uh, let's keep moving and you see also the new interesting bridges, you know, built over this water that are really, really beautiful, that make this city so, so interesting. So. Let's go! You can see the beauty of the day, you know, uh, people riding uh, right now back in the water and it's, it, you know, it's quite warm and so colorful. So people are back out and they're drinking in the water, it's having a party, you know. So I know I'm going to get in there also and uh, check if I can have a bottle or two with the people, you know. So keep following us up. Uh, I need to say you're from the United States, right? Yeah. And uh, how do you find it here? Uh, beautiful. Everyone's friendly. Weather's perfect. Food's great. I mean, no complaints. And yeah, everything also has native language and English, which has been helpful. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. We, we do speak a little bit like um, English there. Yeah, there. So, and um, uh, uh, how long are you here in Copenhagen? Uh, just been a week. Just We're been a week. on the el end of it. Yeah. So we're also walking over the bridges here, and uh, I'm I'm very fascinated with small bridges here. Have you had such experience like that? Uh, only in London. Only in London. Yeah. This, these are small bridges. Right? Depends. The oh, great okay. Let's, let's talk about the one we are in here right now. This this is very stylistic. That the one we are we are standing over here. What do you think about this bridge? Uh, this I like the design. The design, it's, right? Yeah, it's different because you can step out, kind of see the water. Uh, media covering and we go out there and create contents for them 
Uh, would you say hello to Street Mike? Hello, Street Mike. <laughs> Thank you. So I was really interested in into you know uh, getting over these small small bridges around and um, I'm here but right back if you see on the other side that's a, a big library it's called the Black Diamond it's really diamond it's a big beautiful building um, it stands right uh, besides the water uh, very calming and uh, this bridge as well that I, uh, I stand under it just uh, it's new it, it, it but it's a very very small bridge but it brought a lot of conversation because uh, people a lot of thoughts about it you know they wanted to open the other side open this way and uh, there was a lot of conversation about this bridge but now it's set up and it's very beautiful uh, attracts a lot of people uh, when you come here during the the day of the day you know there are a lot of people packed in here checking seeing this bridge a little bit uh, nice uh, art of work here yeah. so beautiful keep following Bridge here, and I'm still here with my brother. Yeah, we're still working, trying to discover <laughs> Copenhagen. Discover Copenhagen. Yeah, and I really like. You cannot imagine. Mind yeah. blowing. Mind blowing. You have to be here and experience for myself. Uh, how do you, how do you like it compared to uh, your city? Yeah, actually, here is more beautiful than my city. I will not lie. <laughs> I'm from sure. Germany, Essen. Yeah. But Copenhagen is top. Wow. To be honest. Be honest and from my experience as well like we just come and see and you can see what you wanted to see from my experience but for me i think copenhagen is the place to be place to be yeah exactly nice yeah wow. well organized well organized only city that all of the city like where water is you can just see <laughs> yeah you can see everywhere yeah very clean water yeah, yeah. yeah. very clean water so this is also something that you need to be just come into experience. Yeah, you could be hanging credits. But anyway, uh, I didn't ask you to say hello in your local language. I like to learn new language. How do you say, how are you, how are you doing? Like, may I speak like eight languages, so which one? Like Germany, uh, no, Italian, no, no. local, Ghana. 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 So Ghana, we say like, it is saying it's chi language. Yeah, chi, yeah. Chi yeah, is very popular. Yeah. Uh, but in Ghana, if you are from Ghana, definitely you have to speak chi. Yeah. So that's the... Chi yeah. is uh, used in rap and uh, so many other... Yeah, 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 exactly, like, kind of, um, Ghanese, like, Ghanese rappers, like, hip life, they're mostly using Chi. Yeah. yeah. And also we have Hausa, we have Togbani, we have, like, main languages, mm -hmm. and they, they use it also to sing with it. Yeah, your local languages are really nice. Uh, I love them, the way they flow. Even in uh, gospel music, they make really good sound. Yeah, 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 mm. of course, you know. <laughs> I think the important is to get a nice beat. If you have the beat, then you have everything. So that's what people are really enjoying here. Yeah. The oh, like is really nice. Yeah, for us also, we are a little thirsty now. So we're going to see uh, who drinks uh, beer or who drinks uh, soda. So we're going to be sharing this with you. Yeah, actually, yeah. I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna see. Yeah, I think <laughs> we keep you updated. If you can give me like two bottles of Coca Cola, I think I can finish all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, we can keep locked. Yeah, sure. Well. <laughs> Good. Uh, so, bro, uh, what's your experience so far? Now we are in the walking street. We have been over the bridges, and uh, how do you see the people? The beautiful people in here. But uh, what is your experience with them? What yeah, actually, like the people are also well. Mm, like they are open-minded and like they know how to follow like a foreigner or a visitor and also like everywhere is nice people are easy going like everybody is just amazing yeah amazing okay. let's keep going yeah and uh, 
we just ended up sitting somewhere and uh, just uh, having some yogurt. Some yogurt. It's a new energy. Like <laughs> it energizes very well. So yes. Like you can keep moving. Yeah. So from our fans uh, in Ghana, Uganda, combination, we say hello, and say I hello. look forward to you know catch you up in the next episode. Now we are done. We can't speak we are anymore. Done everything. We eat, we <laughs> drink, and we are tired. You are tired. So we Export a lot in Copenhagen. In Copenhagen. Oh, yeah. The I rest time now. You can feel free to also come and do the same. My brother is here, so no need to. No need to worry. Yeah. Thank you. And also, thank you for the like for the movement that we did together. Like yes. you know, you yeah. show me a lot. Show me the city. You take me some nice places. Nice. You also show me like the story, how it is. I think it's. It's good to get you like company and get you know, it's really, really great there. Yeah. Like, it was a good meeting and uh, I hope that uh, we can catch up again later uh, yeah, someday. Yeah. 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 Make more YouTube videos and uh, I wish well with your project in, in, in Ghana and uh, you so much. everything you're doing. It's amazing, wonderful, it's very encouraging, it's very inspirational that uh, a young guy like you take up that mantle, you know. We really appreciate it and uh, we wish you the best of all. Thank you so much. Also welcome to SM Germany. So everybody will be like, did you play my song?